Oh, God, why am I always sneezing? Oh, hey, Josh. Hey, Peter here from Tin Man. So today, let's have a conversation about heat pumps. So there's a lot of these around. There's a whole big boom on heat pumps. Um, and I haven't been the biggest advocate for heat pumps for a very long time. Our climate being in Newfoundland, they don't work as well in our climate as they do in a lot of other climates, being an island surrounded by salt water. But they do serve a purpose. So they are excellent when it comes to temperatures we find over a uh, freezing point, those kind of things. But something I discovered that started coming from this um, is the mold and mildew we were getting. So in my own home, I can tell you that for a very long time, myself and my wife were waking up in our five-year-old, well, he's five now, he's three at the time. When we were waking up in the morning, we would find that our noses would be uh, snotty. You, you just felt miserable. Like, And we, we blamed it on allergies. So, you know, grass, pollen, that kind of thing, spring of the year, all that stuff. When we started to investigate, as you'll see in some of these uh, little snippets and videos that I'm going to start putting in here, you're going to start to see the mold and the mildew that accumulates in these units. And a lot of it has to do with heating and cooling, those kind of things. These units sometimes, too, have auto modes, so it'll detect when the days when it warms up and throw AC on, and the nighttime when it cools down, it'll throw in heat. So... Some of the issues that you're going to find or are going to see in these videos, you're going to see a lot of this mold and mildew because of that heating and cooling action that's going on in there. And that poses a lot of problems. So one of the services that we offer here at the Man is we actually clean these units. So what we do is we actually can go into your home and we'll go in here and we'll service the whole thing. So this is a brand new unit here. There's not much dirt in it. This has been going for a couple of months. So there's filters in here. This whole head will come off and you'll see some of our shots of our um, heads that we'll put on here. We'll show you how we take these down. We'll, we break them completely apart and we'll take them down and we'll actually clean your unit entirely for you. Use the proper um, disinfectant for inside and get that sparkling again. And it does make a huge difference because you'll do the outdoor one as well. So cleaning those units makes it really important to get the function of the unit to work correctly. So the heat exchange part of it. So if your heat exchanger is completely full of dirt, mold, mildew, those kind of things, there's not a right kind of airflow going through it. It's not working as it should, and we'll get that up and running and working for you. So I don't get excited about products very often, but when we do, when we see products like this that, that fill a void in our industry, I get super excited about it. So I'm pleased to say that we have these now Taddy Ran Aero 3 um, units that help clean the air. So basically what they do is they have a unit that has a high voltage charge go through it, and as oxygen molecules are passing through it makes it turns them into hydrogen peroxide so what it does is it's able to stick to uh, the bacteria and the viruses and things like that the molecules that are in there there's a lot of science behind it and i love science but i was never good at it in school so i won't get into the basics of explaining that so we're just going to do a little unboxing here and show you what this comes with so this is the unit itself so this is the taddy ran unit and basically it's a very small unit as you can see so it doesn't produce like this like a lot of people think I thought it will be bigger that's what a lot of people say when they see it it's not I am guessing when I say this when I say I think the reason this is not taking up the whole front of your heat exchanger is because this produces uh, hydrogen peroxide when it changes the molecules and stuff I would assume that a bigger unit would produce more and that would probably not be good for us so this thing here uh, just goes into the fins as you can see on the have on the picture right here kind of gives you a little picture of a, um, a mini split and it basically goes across the fins and air gets dried in through here and then sends it out as clean air. So in the system, it's just got a card. Uh, we've got our cable, our power cables. It is wired in and it is required by, to be installed by a professional. So this wires into the existing power that's there. So this is the Taddy Ran unit. You can see how it comes already prepackaged and the instructions and stuff are inside. So these units um, will do a great job at cleaning it, and uh, stay tuned. What we'll do is another video will show you our installation on one of these, and we'll comment on how it works over time. All right, so that wraps us up uh, for this video today. Um, the next minute and a half, you're going to see Jerry uh, doing an installation here on that uh, Taddy Ran Aero 3. So uh, this is what's involved in putting these units in. We strip them apart, take them down. This this is also the same way we would go about cleaning um, the inside of your unit as well. So if you're ever getting a cleaning done, you, we're going to go through this process. It's a great time to install one of these uh, Caddy Ran Aero 3s.
because you can get that done the same time. There's not so much work involved. We're doing the work anyway as we're uh, taking apart the unit to get it prepped for cleaning. Difference being when we clean, we protect the walls and there's buckets and things like that that go inside. So that would um, give you the best idea. So um, again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe uh, to our Facebook page and to our uh, YouTube page for more of this content. Have a great day.